So this is um, forensics, and what I wanted to do today is not give another lecture from the textbook, but talk about these Android forensic demos. We're about to start doing cell phone forensics, and there's a whole series of projects here, most of which are extra credit because you might not be able to do them on all computers. But if you have any reasonably modern Windows or, uh, or Mac, you should be able to do them, or for that matter, Linux. Um, but so I'm, there's a group of Android projects here, and they're all extra credit except for this one, Android Analysis with Autopsy. This one here, um, perhaps I should just demonstrate that one first. Let me get my uh, Windows machine going so I have autopsy. Um, that's the one that I think everybody should do. And uh, now you have to keep this door shut on Tuesdays because they're very noisy. Whoa, that's not right. <laughs> Let's see what happened here. Oh, oh, it's my, inside my Windows machine. Okay, fair enough. Just left over from before. All right. So let's go here um, inside my Windows machine. Ah, yes, I have to restart the machine because this Windows 11 beta version cannot handle the clock. Only a restart will reset the clock so I can use the Internet. Um, supposedly there's some later... ARM version of Windows now, if I could find that, then maybe I'd have less problems, but what I'm using here is an old development beta version with some bugs, but it's good enough. What about 2FA using a non-VoIP voice channel? Well, I don't know, DJ. I don't know if there is any option like that. I mean, if you could force it to call an old landline, that might be good, but I don't think anybody has that ability or would want that. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know. All right, so they're telling me this Windows isn't much good, but I don't care. All right, so first thing I want to do is download the data. So let me get a browser. All right. and go to 121. And projects. And all right, here we are. All right, so here's the Android analysis. And here you just have to analyze an image of data from a phone. And um, so it's very much like any other projects. The data is already here and you're just gonna use autopsy to analyze it. So um, there's the file, tar.gz. That's 1.73 gigs, so that might take a while to download. Let me see if I already have it. It's androidimage2.tar.gz. Looks like I do have it. I've already downloaded it before, last semester and unzipped it, so I'll just use that one. So let me just cancel this download if I can. Yeah, uh, cancel is there. All right, all right, so I've got the file and I've unzipped it, um, and you can verify the hash. I'm not gonna bother with that. They've done that kind of thing before. Once you've unzipped it, 7-zip um, can unzip tar.gz files. They can unzip a whole lot of things. And then you should get a uh, data folder. So let me see if I can find that. If I go into here, there's the data folder. Okay, so inside Android Image 2.tar is the data folder, and in there there's a whole bunch of folders. These are just um, folders copied from an Android operating system. And so we're going to analyze those with autopsy. So let me get to autopsy. All right. And... Now, I think I can refer to the instructions out here. Not that one, but this one. All right. So, it's new case, Android 2, next and finish. That's rank a case. Then you import logical files and make sure you have the Android analyzer. All right. So, new case, Android. 
Ja. As usual, it'll take about 30 seconds just to create the empty container. CGJ saying my bank does two-factor authentication using a non-VoIP voice channel. Well, that's interesting. I, uh, I know one technique that has used to be used was to call you at a known good phone number, but the problem is now with SIM swapping, there's no reason to believe that phone number is actually you. But um, requiring you to take a call at a non-cell phone phone would probably be reasonably secure, just so inconvenient people wouldn't like it because people are traveling so much. All right, so now um, it's a select host next, logical files next, go to the data folder. Okay, so uh, let's get rid of this garbage. Okay, next, logical files next. Okay, add the data folder, which is in my downloads folder, um, student downloads. There's the data folder. Okay. And then next. Okay, and here is the trick at the configure ingest. The only thing I need is Android Analyzer a leap. All the rest of it I don't need. So. Somewhere in this mess, there should be, and there it is, and, well, there's Android Analyzer, but I don't seem to, here's the A-Leap, okay. I don't know what this other one does, but I guess the only one I need is the A-Leap one. I don't know the difference between them, but anyway, let's try that one. All right. And see, so here it is, digging through all these folders, and you see folders with names like Google and Android and Chrome and apps. So those are the folders that include all the data from all the apps on the phone, which is all that you usually want. All right, and so I finish here, and as usual, down in the corner, you'll see the thing running, um, a leap for logical file set, 0% and so on, so it'll be chewing through it. And when it's done, we'll have some evidence to examine. And so it'll give us um, call logs and um, installed programs and so on. So you can go to the call logs and you can see the um, phone numbers, I think, that have been called. Yeah, here's the phone numbers that were called and when they were called. And you can go and find the apps that are installed and find the latest app, and you can go and find what websites have been viewed. And those are meant on many things. All the things you can see on your phone, everything in the, uh, in the phone just will appear there. So that's all there is to this one. And uh, let me just get the call logs anyway. Data artifacts, call logs, let's see. Uh, yep, here they are, they're already appearing. There's the call logs making these two phone, number, phone calls. And down here are the installed programs. And you see there are 1,149 installed programs. So you'll have to find a date column and sort by it to find the latest one that's been installed and so on. And you can see what messages people have been sending and so on. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. All the information off the phone is just easily obtained with autopsy. And uh, so that's the direct forensic use of data. All right, let me stop this recording.